Welcome to a helicopter over top. It's day three uh, or four. I'm losing track of the days. Uh, but we woke up this morning with a fire alarm going off at like six seven. or seven in the morning. And then as soon as we like got on our clothes and was like ready to run out the door, it stopped. And all of us like poked our heads in the hallway and we're like, you going back to bed? I'm going back to bed. Uh, but we ended up actually getting up and going down and having breakfast. More all you can eat haggis, which was choice. And then we went back to sleep for many, many, many hours. Um, now we are, yeah, look at me, I'm vlogging. Don't give me weird looks, that's fine. Um, now we are going to go to the Goma for real this time. It was torrential downpour this morning. The weather has since gotten much nicer, but it looks like it might rain again. So we're gonna go to the Goma. We did just go and get coffee, which was necessary. And we just took a uh, ginger shots in the street, which were singed, I believe. I yeah, and uh, shout out to the girls at Pret for being, like every Pret person we've met has just been so sweet and so kind. And this girl was just lovely. Um, she's never gonna see this, but that's okay. UPS guy, he was looking at me. He wanted to get in on the vlog. Um, so we're gonna go to the Goma now. And then we have some plans, loose plans for later. that was short but sweet. It was really interesting, there was some neat stuff there. And we've just hopped in a cab and we are on our way to the Kelvin Grove Museum and Galleries, which looks really nice. I think there's a bit of outdoor space and it's still, the weather's holding out for us so far. Uh, it hasn't started checking it down, which I think it will probably in a few hours. It's just looking a little cloudy and stormy. So we're gonna try to get that out of the way. Um, we were gonna go to the People's Palace, but that's closed on Mondays. So we're gonna try to do that tomorrow because tomorrow's our last day before we head up to Inverness. After a short little taxi ride, we are now at the Kelva Grove. This area is gorgeous and the building is beautiful. We are realizing that we're still very dehydrated from flying for so long. So we're gonna stop at the little tea room here and have some tea and snacks, rehydrate ourselves a little bit and then go on our tour. So the first exhibit we're going to is Natural History, Ancient Egypt, and History of Glasgow, I believe. If you remember in yesterday's vlog, I took a shot from the necropolis of Glasgow Cathedral and overlooking Glasgow. This is a painting of what it used to look like back in the 1840s. We just finished up two-ish hours at the Kelvin Grove, which was amazing. Mm. There's lots of very cool stuff there. But now we are actually just on the grounds of the Kelvin Grove Museum where there's a river and a gorgeous cathedral just across the way and we don't know how to get there. But we've been inside a lot and the weather is still holding out so we're trying to get a short walk in and it smells so good here. Can you hear the majesty? 
it's chirping. So fresh, and the birds are chirping, oh. and the water is running, and this Babbling is brook. just this is magical. Wonderful. Hours later, we've just been for a cheeky Wagamama's and had a little chicken katsu curry. Had the sweetest server ever from Poland, who was just a delight. Uh, now we're going back to where we're staying. We're gonna do some work. We're gonna stop by Poundland real quick and pick up some snacks. We'll probably just take it easy for the night. It's been a very long day of walking. So I need to tell you a story. Uh, we were gonna go down to the Clyde Arch, which uh, is beautiful in all the photos we've seen. And we got down there and it was trash. It was awful. <laughs> The taxi driver didn't even know what we were talking about, so that, we, that should have been our first sign of disaster. After that was done, we said just turn around and take us back to where we came from, and instead he kind of just kept driving. And Emily and I both looked at each other and we're like, where are you going? And he's like, oh, I'm taking you to a bar. And we were like, all right. So he drove us somewhere and then said, this is a nice like Spanish cocktail and tapa bar. I think you're gonna like it. So we got out and we were like, all right, we're here now. And we ordered some cocktails. And it's actually been really lovely. We've been enjoying ourselves. It's been yeah. like really nice and chill. Can I say again how nice absolutely everybody has been in Glasgow? It has been phenomenal. It's true. Everyone here has been so sweet and kind. So thank you, Glaswegians, for that. As we were asking for our bill, the bartender came over and gave us the, each one of these little glasses saying it was a, a Spanish creme brulee liqueur. And it was just like, oh, it's on the house. It's just, it's on us. We have had so many kind people just give us things. Like day one, the guy at Pratt gave us our coffee. Day two, or earlier today, the girl, yeah, the girl at Pratt gave us a free chocolate bar. This guy's giving us, like, everyone here is just so kind. I'm, we're like, overwhelmed with kindness. We are back where we're staying. We're back in our room now. And there's a, a bit of a story for how we got here. We left the cocktail bar we were at and hailed a cab. And it was the same cab driver who took us to the cocktail bar in the first place. And we've had a beverage or two and are feeling a little bit tipsy. And just said we would love some uh, late night fast food if you could just take us somewhere. And he took us to a KFC that was right across from a brand new Tim Hortons, the first Tim Hortons in Europe. Uh, and if you don't know, I'm Canadian and Tim Hortons is a Canadian treasure. And every day we've gone, there's been a long line down the street for this, for this Tim Hortons. And we've been wanting to try it just because it's Tim Hortons. And there was no line. It's midnight and there was no line. And so we said, you know what, we're gonna go in and we're just gonna grab like a donut or something. We walked in and we said, we're from Canada and good luck on the first Tim Hortons because it opened like four days ago. And so we told them we were Canadian and we wished them all the best in their first Tim Hortons. And they gave us a free box of donuts and a free box of Timbits and was like, do you want us to take a picture of you? And so I took a selfie with the guy, which I'll insert here. And they took a photo of us holding our spoils in the first uh, Tim Hortons in Europe. And I'll insert that one here. And we came back to the hotel and just kind of handed a bunch of these out to the staff and the guests here to spread the Canadian joy. But we just thought that was so incredibly sweet. Everyone here has been so lovely. So I'm gonna end the vlog right here. Uh, we're going to, I think, get into pajamas, eat some junk food and watch some movies. Tomorrow's our last day in Glasgow. We have a couple things planned. I think we might go to the People's Palace and one or two other spots which I'll keep as a surprise. Thanks so much for watching. I really do hope you've been enjoying these vlogs. I've been having a blast making them so far and we are only just getting started. I've been tweeting pretty regularly when I've been away so I'll leave my Twitter here or maybe here. <laughs> Not sure which side. Also my Instagram. I'm posting photos like three or four photos every day so do go check that out as well. Thanks so much for watching. Make sure you hit that subscribe button and we'll see you tomorrow.